what is up, my Knights of the Round Table? Welcome back to Music Night with the Night. We got, what is this, part 7 of March Madness? We're only on part 7? We're going to be closing out March Madness this week with the final two March Madness videos. Um, if you can't tell, it's raining like hell here on my tin roof, so I don't know if my mic's going to pick it up or not, but it's been raining all day. I have not had a moment to record yet. So I said, fuck it, I'm going to record during it. So if it's picked it up, it picks up. This is Matt Righteous City featuring Eric Audible. Like it in the summer, wherever I go, I'll always be young at heart, no matter how much I call me Samurai Jack. I'm going back to the past to backtrack to when I was part of the cul de sac pack, laughing at slapstick. I'm acting like an egg boy, many girls on the head boy. Mojo Jojo <laughs> A lot of the cartoon references you're, you're throwing in here, Matt. I'm picking that up. I'm having to really listen because of this fucking rain. Zeus! Okay, Eric, go on. Yeah, we back for you too. Wow, I'm old. I am old as fuck. Total drama. Chowder mom, okay. I've been up like I've been up. <laughs> Sorry about that yawn. I'm not gonna lie, that might be one of my favorites on this album. I'm not gonna lie. I love the little cartoon references. I'm sure my camera stays. I don't know if y'all can hear that rain or not. I would imagine so. It's loud. Alright, first of all, I'm giving this song 9.5 out of 10. It's a different style than what I'm used to out of Matt. It has more of a Death of the Bachelor type vibe to it, where it's more of like an old timey type beat and flow. And it's such a classic throwback, which makes sense giving the nature of the song, which is throwback cartoons. The song feels like a throwback. So I think they nailed this, and audio wise, Matt and Eric fucking killed it. I honestly can't choose a favorite between the two. I think they both did so well, but just a little bit differently to kind of distinguish them. Besides the sound, of course. If I'm having a yell, it's because of this fucking roof. I, can, I can't hear myself. <laughs> it is flooding here. I'm going to have to go swim and check the mail tomorrow. That's not going to be fun. But, I'll update y'all that tomorrow. 
Okay, I'm going to try to break this down best I can with no subtitles and the rain drowning me out here. I'm really going to listen. Okay, Samurai Jack, Back to the Past. That was the theme of Samurai Jack. He's going back to the past. Ed Boy, that's a reference to Ed and Eddie. Also, Matt Righteous made a song called We're Ed Boys. We're Ed Boys through and through. What have we done to you? Those on the track that I'm using, they get ahead, boy. I stepped out of Peace Creek, kept on Jelly Bean, vibing down in Bravo Beach, running. Bravo Beach, that could be a reference to Johnny Bravo. Dexter's Machines, Dexter, you know. Diddy! And my machine! Diddy! Mojo Jojo, that's the villain of Powerpuff Girls. Monkey around, he was a monkey, he was a green monkey. Jawbreaker's another Ed and Eddie reference. Alien Invaders, that was Scooby Doo the Alien Invaders, one of my favorite Scooby Doo movies. Pops could be a reference to a regular show. Some chicken and gravy, wash it down with a little punch. Catch the Yummy Yumi concert that's playing. Yummy Yumi, I know that name, but I don't know where from. Out at the park and we I, I'm picking up that reference, I just don't know what you're referencing, if that makes sense. I know the name, it sounds familiar. Still got several hours before it starts to get dark. Yeah, yeah, because you used to have to get home before dark, before the street lights hit. Who remembers that shit? Who's that old? Just me? Okay. <laughs> I already get shit because I have gray hair. I can't help it. I am a young, spry, 23-year-old old man. Back before YouTube Kids or any streaming service, YouTube Kids is the new offshoot of YouTube. And back in these days, there was no streaming services. You had to stay up and wait for your favorite shows to come on. I remember Saturday morning, Disney XD, uh, Spider-Man the 90s series would come on Saturday mornings. I had to be up. I remember uh, at night around 8 p.m., The Batman 2004 and Justice League and Justice League Unlimited would come on at night at Boomerang. I remember waiting up for those shows. Most guys love you kids today got it easy. I'm, I'm, I'm officially punching in the old man card. You youngins have it easy. Was all that we would search with things today. Seems you have lots of simplicity given way. To off a lot of toxicity. Maybe I'm growing. This is how it's meant to be. But it yeah, it is a lot of toxicity nowadays. That's true that you can catch me strolling reminiscing street. When I watch the shows, I feel I'm not alone. That's ain't not meant to be dishes. I call it Foster Show. Total drama. Call it fi my or fictitious. Call it Foster Home. Foster Home for imaginary friends. Action. It's where one day I'll be the A-list on an island from the world. Total Drama Action, Total Drama Island, Total Drama Action was uh, was the next season, I believe. Chowder, that's from the show Chowder. You know, Mong's Kitchen. Mong was his mentor. We don't have I remember Schnitzel. Rada, 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 rada. Rada? With the phase, I'm happy to be stuck in it. Facts, Eric. Facts. By the way, I see the codename kids next door's hideout back here. I see the tree hideout. I see it.
I love this song because it's, it's just, okay, I've loved this album a lot because it's such a throwback album of like when me and Matt were kids. For those that don't know, me and Matt are around the same age. And like this whole album, these songs, and this song in particular is about the cartoons we grew up on. How you'd have to stay, there was no streaming services for us. We had to stay up, get the TV guide out, and wait for these shows to come on. You had to memorize it if you didn't have a TV guide. And that was part of the fun. It was it was simpler times, really, because it, there was there was innocence. All that mattered was watching these shows, and you believed everything these shows taught you. Like you believed, like if you worked hard, you succeed. You believe friendship, love conquers all. But as you get older, you you lose those ideals. You you become more nihilistic. I believe is the word I'm trying to use here. Um, I, I, you're pretty much a nihilist. Like, you know, very, uh, you're pretty much a cynic, you know, very negative outlook, you know, because of all the toxicity that's in the world, um, but when you're a kid, you're oblivious to all of that, and that's what this song's about, it, it, it's about that innocence, it's about that joy, you know, as you're an adult, you want to relive your childhood to kind of escape the toxicity and problems that plague the adult life. And I, that resonates with me because I'll go back and watch a lot of my old favorite shows Teen Titans, Scooby Doo, SpongeBob, I don't give a fuck, I'm 23. Hate me all you want. Though, watching those shows makes me happy because I remember better days. I, I remember how much easier life was. And it helps reteach you that life isn't so bad. You know, there are good people. And. These shows help connect people. Like, there's a whole thriving community on these shows. Hell, that's one of the reasons me and Matt became friends, is we would talk about these shows, so... I love this song through and through. I love the message behind it. I've loved the message behind this entire album. And just big shout-out to Matt and Eric. Go check them out. Go show them some love. Because they are two incredible and talented musicians, and they're also fun people to interact with. They're not assholes. Please, interact with them. They are funny people. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did, regardless of the rain drowning me out. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.